on with Screen Print Direct. In this video, I'm going to teach you how to burn a screen for screen printing. This whole process is not as scary as it seems, especially with the right guidance. I learned how to burn screens a couple years ago using Google and YouTube, and I know you can do it too. To burn a screen at home, you are going to need a screen. Make sure the screen is completely degreased and cleaned before you add any emulsion to it. You'll also need a transparency sheet, like this one an inkjet printer or a marker to get your design onto the transparency sheet. I will be using an opaque black marker to draw my design directly on the transparency. You will also need emulsion, a scoop coater, an exposure light, a sheet of plexiglass, a heat gun or a way to cure your ink when you're done, a piece of foam or something to place under your screen while you're exposing it, but more on that later, tape, and a light safe room to dry your screen. Let's get started. Okay, so so to start, you're going to coat your screen with emulsion. We'll need the scoop coater, emulsion, and a screen for this part. I'm using PWR emulsion because it's very forgiving and honestly I just love the color. I like to do this in a light safe room so the emulsion isn't exposed prematurely. First, fill your scoop coater with emulsion. And then, starting with the flat side of the screen, tilt it slightly until the emulsion touches the mesh and pull it up very carefully. Make sure you're applying pressure so the emulsion doesn't sneak out between the scoop coater and the mesh. When you get to the top of the screen, tilt it back towards the scoop coater to get all of the emulsion back in there. Then flip the screen over and do the same thing on the other side. Then we're gonna let that dry overnight or until it's completely dried to the touch. If your studio or your home tends to be on the humid side, I recommend setting up a dehumidifier to make sure that your emulsion is completely dry before you expose your screen. Next, we're gonna get our transparency ready. You could print this using an inkjet printer. You just have to make sure that it is a vector image without a background. Or you can draw directly on the transparency sheet with an opaque black marker, which is what I'm gonna do today. Now that our transparency is ready and our screens are dry, we can go ahead and expose our design onto the screen. For this part, you're going to need a piece of foam and a sheet of plexiglass and also your exposure light. I'm using this light from Screen Print Direct. It is really handy and super easy to use. We will put the piece of foam down first, followed by the screen. I keep a piece of cardboard over it just to make sure that no light is hitting it while I'm getting ready to expose it. And we will place our transparency on top of the screen, followed by the sheet of plexiglass. And we will expose this for about 25 seconds. I like to cover it back up once the 25 seconds are up and then we will take this over to our washout booth. The final step before we're ready to print is washing out the screen. I cover up the screen and bring it over to my washout booth where I'll use a pressure washer or a hose to rinse out the design. Before you print, make sure to cover the sides of your screen with tape. That way, the ink won't come through the edges onto your shirt.
Then we can line up the screen on the press and get the shirt ready to go on the platen. Add a little bit of super tack to your platen and you're ready to print. done printing just make sure to completely cure your ink using a heat gun, a heat press, a flash dryer, or if you have one, a conveyor dryer. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you for watching.